Now I have before me two laptops, one with the i7-1260p CPU from Intel and one with the i7-1260p CPU from Intel, but it also has an RTX 3050 Ti. Now, what is the benefit of choosing a laptop with the i7-1260p, which is a processor that fits very nicely into a thin and light ultrabook laptop and provides you solid battery life with great performance, what is the benefit of adding a dedicated GPU to that laptop? Is there any? Well, first and foremost, I would say that there is no benefit if you're looking to conserve battery. If you're looking for better battery life, your RTX 3050 Ti inside of the Acer Swift X 14 inch is gonna give you less battery life than the Lenovo Yoga 9i without the dedicated GPU. And if we're looking at the Samsung Galaxy Book 2, Pro 360. These two laptops both do not have a dedicated GPU and are going to give you better battery life. However, if we go and we look at the benchmark charts, you're going to get slightly better performance. Even inside a Geekbench and Cinebench R23, we're seeing better performance out of the laptop with a dedicated GPU, even in those what we would consider CPU intensive benchmark tests. However, things start to even out as we get into the Photoshop benchmark. So if you look at the Photoshop benchmark, the Acer Swift X14 has an 817, whereas the Samsung Galaxy Book 2 Pro 360 has an 803 on the benchmark score. Now, as you look at the Lenovo Yoga 9i Gen 7, it bottoms out at around 641 for the benchmark score. So this not only tells me that there's a difference between a dedicated GPU and a non-dedicated GPU i7 1260p, but also the exact laptop that you put that CPU into. Now, all these laptops were ran at the maximum fan mode during the Photoshop benchmark. And as you can see, between the Lenovo Yoga 9i Gen 7 at a 641, and the Galaxy Book 2 Pro 360 at an 803, there is a substantial difference between the performance of those two laptops. So then the other thing to consider is which laptop you choose with the i7-1260p to get optimal performance. And looks like right off the bat, the Samsung Galaxy Book 2 Pro 360 is the best laptop that I have seen personally so far with the i7-1260p. Now, as we move on to more intense programs such as video editing, we see that there is still an advantage of choosing the i7-1260p with the dedicated GPU, but not a big advantage enough unless you are choosing 6K video editing. If you're choosing 6K video editing, you'll be able to edit playback at half quality in Premiere Pro with only 33 drop frames out of the 16,177. But if you're just doing 4K, then any of the laptops will do. So if you want good battery life, you want a thin and light ultra book, and you want good performance for 4K video editing, then you don't need to choose the dedicated GPU. However, if you're gonna be somebody who likes to game on the side, or you're gonna be somebody who wants to do some 6K video editing occasionally, I wouldn't consider this a 6K video editing master machine, but it could do it, then I would consider the dedicated GPU from the Acer Swift X. Okay. Now, as we look at export times, the export times are going to be slightly better out of the dedicated GPU laptop. But again, not by much. We see a 318 out of the Acer Swift X, 437 out of the Samsung Galaxy Book 2 Pro 360, 547 out of the Lenovo Yoga 9i. Now, there is more than a two minute difference between the Yoga 9i and the Swift X. So that is quite substantial if you say you were exporting a 30 minute video versus the nine minute video example that I'm exporting here in this video. Now, the next thing to consider is 3D modeling. More and more viewers on my channel are wanting to know what laptops are capable for 3D modeling and architecture. And this here, it's not even an option, okay? I would not consider 3D modeling on the non-dedicated GPU equipped laptop. However, I would not necessarily say that this is gonna be your end all be all for 3D modeling or architecture. It gets the lowest benchmark scores out of the most common laptops with dedicated GPUs. So doing the i7-1260p and the RTX 3050 Ti for 3D modeling just doesn't have the ceiling to really give you the great performance that you need. I would recommend something like the i5-12500H and an RTX 3060. It might put you back about the same price point. It may not be as thin 
as small and as compact as on the go friendly, but you're gonna get the performance you need. Punch for punch for creative professionals, I personally don't see a benefit for adding the dedicated GPU. It just doesn't make sense for my specific use case. Now I could see if you're a student and you like to game, then it would make sense. Having a dedicated GPU inside of a thin and light laptop with an i7-1260p makes sense. However, as a creative professional, if you're a graphic designer, digital artist, or photographer, this will be plenty of power for you. And you can even get away with a good amount of 4K video editing with this Thin and Light Ultrabook, and you're gonna get better battery life. So for creative professionals, I'm gonna say skip the dedicated GPU. If you're a student, likes to game, wants to have the benefit of that dedicated GPU and still have some snappy performance in other areas, Dedicated GPU kind of makes sense. Comment below, let me know your thoughts. Links in the description if you're ready to make a purchase, likes if this video has brought you some value, and subs if you don't wanna miss out on the future uploads. I'll see you in the next video.